start recording. Good morning. Happy Friday. Welcome to the Shack Shack. Safe, happy and creative. Stay home and craft. Stay home and drink tea. There you go. Ah, nectar. Come on in. You rock. It's Friday. Thank God it's Friday. Actually, all the days roll into one, don't they? They seem to. It's, uh, it's all a little bit up in the air at the moment. Cool. I tell you what, what a, you know, we say what a difference a day makes, what a difference a Dave makes in my case. But um, blimey, <laughs> it's amazing what can happen between Wednesday and Friday in Washington, D.C., isn't it? Yeah. Didn't see that one coming. Well, saw a little bit. We knew there was going to be some some upset, but there's upset and then there's upset. God, dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, what is going on? As if there wasn't enough going on. As if there weren't enough going on, people. <laughs> Mental. Anyway, that's why the Shack Shack is so wonderful. Because do you know what? You leave it all out there. Come on in, shut the door. It's freezing here in Kent today. Well, actually, it's East Sussex here. It's breathing here too. But blue skies, blue skies. It'll all be all right. But the good news is in the Shack Shack, you can just park it, just leave it all out there, you know, just leave it there. My dad used to, always used to say, it's like a goldfish bowl, Barb. Life's like a goldfish bowl. And all the time you're swimming around in it, you, you're not in control. He said, what you've got to do is get out of the goldfish bowl and observe. He said, it will serve you well. And so, so yeah, I get what he means, you know. I can't get in the goldfish bowl and swim around and paddle because it doesn't, there's no point. All the time I'm swimming around, I can't see the point, the point I'm at. I cannot see the spot I'm standing on when I'm swimming around in the goldfish bowl. But like Dad says, if I can get out of the goldfish bowl and look in at everybody else swimming around in the goldfish bowl, I get that distance, don't I? You know, so maybe have a think about it this weekend. Play the goldfish bowl game. If you feel you're getting all caught up and you're swimming around and just as you do mm -hmm. in your head, then just stop for a minute and think, right, OK, what did Barbara's dad say? Oh, that's right. Get out of the goal. Step away from the goldfish bowl and look in. And then we're not swimming around, floundering. It's good advice. It's certainly served me well over the years because sometimes I get caught up and then I'm in there and I'm flapping around and and then, um, yeah, and then I remember what my dad said. Oh, hang on a minute. Get out. Get out of the goldfish bowl and observe. Helps a lot. Helps me a lot. It's a good one. And my old man, he's 83 this year, still talks about the goldfish bowl. Sometimes when I'm flapping, he says, you're in the goldfish bowl, Bob. Oh, yeah. Ah, tea. Come on in. It's so toasty in here today. So toasty. Come in. Anybody there apart from me? Yeah, I bet you are. Yeah, good morning. Come on in. Guten Morgen. Grüß dich, Marion. Yeah, work from home. Everybody's here. Ah, and so today... Yes, tea, best drink of the day. We're going to be doing our teacups. And um, I do love these shapes. I love these shapes. I, I enjoyed just penning, putting them into um, pencil. Now, so that you know, Stuart's in the building with you, if you're wondering. Paul's got a lot on. He's got a lot on today because he's on telly tomorrow. He's on Hochanda. So at one o'clock and three o'clock, Paul's on doing um, dyes. Fabulous. He's a bit of a paper engineer on the quiet hour, Paul. So he'll be doing that. And he's got a lot on at work today, getting ready for that. So lovely Stuart is in the building with us and he will direct you. If there's anything you need, anything that I use and you think I could, I could do with that, um, all you need is a pen and a piece of paper. But if you need 
special pens and special pieces of paper. <laughs> Hands up, we're here. <laughs> right, so let's have a look, shall we? And um, what we've done today, this week, we worked on we worked on some patterns, didn't we? Where did we start? Oh yeah, here we are. Let's have a look. So, oh, I haven't turned the cameras on. I, do you know, it's been a bit of a flap today. It's been a bit of a flap. So this won't take seconds. Let me just sort this out. Mm -mm, mm -mm. There you go. That's camera number three, please. Let me sort out camera number. <laughs> Let me sort out camera number two. Oh, let's see if I can do it from here. I bet I can. Here we go. Camera number two. Here we are. Let's just come on in. Come on in. There you go. Instant. Sorry about that. Let me just line it up. There you are. Oh, it's all go. It's amazing how you adapt, isn't it? Right, let's try again. Right, we're going to do a little screen test. Volume, un, deux, trois, works. Camera number two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get the tea out of the way so we don't have a spillage. Um, and we could come in a bit tighter on that in a minute. Camera number three for those close-up shots. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh yeah, there you go. So we've been doing a little bit of doodling and we've been doing a little bit of, so we did it, didn't we? We did it uh, with a line in mind above and below. So we got got little flowers going on. We used tracing paper, didn't we? Um, and then, let's have a look. I've got a couple of other little bits and pieces going on here. Yeah, made different shapes, different cups, and we made a stack. There you go, got a stack going, didn't we? That was nice. And what I suggested was, here we are, that we go to, so if, you, if you're if you wondering where on earth we ended up with this, we ended up with this by doodling it ourselves because that's what we do in the shack shape. We started out with a shape, didn't we? We just drew round a cup, basically, or a, something round, halfway, and then we created a nice shape, then we did all the doodling. So if you're new to the shack shack, this is our art. We've done this ourselves during, we did it Monday, 10 o'clock, Wednesday, 10 o'clock, and now we're doing it today. So we've made brilliant progress, really. And then, and what we're, what we're gonna do today we're going to pen this one. I like this. So what I did do, because it's all in pencil, it's on copy paper. It's just a bit of copy paper. Nothing too scientific. Just a piece of white paper. And what we're going to do now is we're going to pen this, which is my, my favourite thing to do. It's the relaxing bit. Monday, Wednesday, it's all the design, the composition, the perspective, getting that tip on the cup and all that good stuff. But when you go to pen it, all you need is a micron pen or two. Look, we got we got packs of them. Got a micron pen, a black pen. These are great. These are artists' pens. This is what we use when we're illustrating or yeah, when we're when we're creating art. So this is what I've always used, these micron pens. We do a great little set of them on uh on, at Clarity. But I mean, if you haven't got these, use a biro, use anything, you know. But we do do them if you need them. So we're going to use, I'm going to use a 005, which is the smallest one, and a number one, okay, because I need a nice fine line to do these. And what pencils did we use? Well, again, I just, again, a bog standard HB pencil, right? Just every pencil you got in the cupboard, but we do do the Faber Castell. And these are great because when you when you look in the tin here, you'll see you've got buffer black and H. So you've got different, you've got B's. They're the, 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 the higher the number, like 5B, or they're very um, soft pencils, blacker, more graphite. And then 2H is going to be H for hard, so you get sharper and finer and less graphite. So these are a great, if you want to get into drawing and doodling, these are brilliant. But like I say, any pencil is going to do the job. Do not feel excluded because you haven't got the gear, you know. No, 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 no excuses there. But it's not expensive, is it? It's not, it's not a golf caddy. 
<laughs> i tell you what you do need though a rubber and he raised a pencil look at this little fella ah right to the bitter end never waste uh, an inch <laughs> you can get white ones and you can get pink ones we're using the pink ones on pencil and then the white ones yeah be careful if you order them that you get the right one the white one is for getting rid of ink you know like when we get rid of color uh yeah ink it's like that's it full stop actually <laughs> If you're getting rid of the colour on parchment, for example, this is the one. But for pencil, it's the pink one. I swear by these pencil rubbers. I think they're brilliant. There you go. Let's get one that I can actually hold. Somebody really kindly sent me, look, this is brilliant, a holder. Look, so I can make the most out of me. <laughs> if I can get it out. Look, oh, look, HB. Hello. I'm going to keep these and put them in the museum. <laughs> Aren't they beautiful? I think they're lovely. Cute. And then you see, you put that in there and then you tie it up. There you are. But I still think that these two really, oh, they're going in my museum. <laughs> right, now let's get started then. Are you ready? Cup of tea first. Come on. My tea always ends up getting cold. You're all right. Tea's good for you, you know. Tea's very good for you. There are so many benefits to drinking tea. Black tea, green tea. Green tea's good for dieting, you know. <laughs> this is black tea. This is black tea with milk. I like mine strong. I do. I like my tea strong. I know some people, they, you just wave the tea bag at it, don't you? No, I like mine nice and strong. So let's have a look at this doodle and let's get inking. So all the time it's in pencil, all the time it's in pencil, you see, we can still add things. So for example, you can add a tag. See, I was thinking this would make a nice card and it would make a nice, if it was smaller. So once I've done the artwork, I'm going to scan it and then reduce it. See, and if this were if this were a bit of string, it's it's opaque, so it doesn't matter that it cuts across. But if it were a bit of ribbon, for example, then at this point, you can still rub the. See, if this is two lines going here. Let's say, let's just pretend. Look, see. Then here, I can still rub out and bring this in over the front. I mean, there are no experts in this building. This is pretty basic stuff, isn't it? Look. See? So then that goes around there, and that goes around there, and then I've made it, I've made it wider, that's all. It's easy, isn't it? Yeah. There's nothing too complicated going on in the Shack Shack, that's for sure. Sometimes, when you look at where we've ended up, you think, crikey, that is brilliant, you know? But when you actually deconstruct it and go backwards and see where we started, it's all very, very achievable. You do know, don't you, that every single Shack Shack YouTube, do you know we're on number 162 today? That's 162 hours that we've been doodling together. That's impressive. But all 161 at the moment um, hours are all loaded on YouTube all the shack shack so you could go right back to the beginning it's a proper little doodle college course <laughs> and it's free it's absolutely free there is no obligation you do it if you fancy it the whole purpose of this is to hang out keep each other company and stay safe there's nothing else going on right it's not a free trial <laughs> <laughs> Give us your credit card numbers and then a month from now you won't know what's hit you. And none of that, is it? It's just it's what it is, okay? <laughs> I got caught out like that a few times. I can tell you. Right, now, let's have a look. Penning, penning, penning. What I want, though, is a piece of paper. I need a piece of paper. Just bear with me a minute. I just need a bit of paper that's the same as what I'm drawing on. That's the key. So it's just a bit of copy paper. 
and what we're going to do is test if we test our pens you know because this is my masterpiece this bit isn't it I don't want to scribble all over that although I have been known to right so keep calm and carry on keep calm and keep drinking tea 0051 let's have a look and then we'll get started Right, I'm going to use, that's it, get it going. If you press, you don't have to press hard with these, you see. You literally, that's the double O, that's the O1. You just pull it lightly. If you press too hard, you might damage the nib. You'll get it, you get a feel for it. So what we're going to do, first of all, I think we're just going to settle down. I'm going to use the, the thicker one for the outline and then the, the thinner one for the detail. So, yeah, defo, defo, okay? And this is where we settle in, we settle down. You up for this? Are you up for this? Come on then, I need my... Do you know what I did? Do you know what I did? This has taken, it's only been two years. I've got these drawers, like loads and loads of drawers. One, two, three, four, there's about 12 drawers here. They're like draftsman's drawers, sort of that thin. You put things in them, see? And um, this week I labelled them. <laughs> it's sometimes quickly, sometimes slowly. See, because what I found was, every time I go to look for something, I open 12 drawers before I find it because there's so many of them. It's not like there's only two or three drawers. There are loads. So now I've got black archival sp and sponges, shack shack pencils and postcards and microns, uh, mats, grips and guard. See, so now I go to this one. <laughs> Do you want to see? This is Barbara Gray, completely unmanageable because I can never find anything. Now, do you want to see? <laughs> this is embarrassing. Do you want to know how many, how many groovy guards I've got because I can never find the one that I need? Watch this. This is this is unmanageability at its absolute best. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've got one for every day of the week. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to actually argue. This one's for Monday. This one's for Tuesday. <laughs> You know, like you think, oh, I can't find it, I'll have to buy another one. What about I can't find it and I'm going to ring the office and get another six? <laughs> there you go. So I've got one of them. Oh, and while we're in this labelled cupboard, mix mats, that's another challenge for me. I can never find the one I want because it always gets caught up in the demo. Uh, it's some, somewhere in a box with the stamps, which are... You don't even want to look at the number of stamp duplicates I've got behind that door. <laughs> right, you ready? Right, mix mats. I've got one that I haven't opened. This is progress, right? <laughs> one. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. So there's another one floating around here somewhere because they come in pairs. <laughs> Oh no, and you thought you were bad. Pathetic. No wonder the company's on its knees. <laughs> there you go. However, the good news is, now that I've labelled, do you know I've got about 12 of those um, groovy mats as well, the black ones in there. I can't even get them in here. <laughs> There's so many of them. I know, it's quite um, a revelation. <laughs> <laughs> Labeling's good though, isn't it? <laughs> so I've got what I need to lean on. In the meantime, my pen's probably dried out. You have no idea. Do you know how many pens I've got? These are just the ones that I use. Uh, I live in excess. I really do. But it's usually because I'm just, I haven't got my act together. It's nothing to do with wanting more. It's just I can't find the stuff, you know, because I'm working with it. Get another one, get another one, get another one. It could be worse, couldn't it? Cool, uh, yeah. It's all right though. It's all right. Because I always say to myself, it doesn't matter because when we have a workshop and when we all get back together again, 
when we can get back together again and we can have workshops and we can all hang out together, I've already been thinking about which rooms we could use at the new factory. We've got some really good workshop rooms and that, you know. We were going to have a shop and everything, weren't we, with a factory outlet? But then I say to myself, that's okay if we've got, if I've got 10 of these open <laughs> because we'll need them for the workshop. That's always my, my little add on. That's okay. We'll use them for the workshop. We'll use them for the workshops. We'll use them for the workshop. So we've got everything that you could possibly want for workshops in this room here to cover at least 10 people. <laughs> I wonder I can't get out the door. Right. Come on. Stop waffling, Barbara. Now. 01. This is the one we're going to go to. Let's see if we go to this camera. Let's go to this camera. I can get my head in over the top because that's the key. Right, we're going to start at the top and we're going to just calm down and we're going to come in slowly, does it? Shut up, Gray. Just keep going. There you go. And this is when I calm down and I just start gently guiding the pen. Here we go. I'm going to go quiet now because the outline is really important. The outline is what gives us that. There you go. And then we're going to come down here. Right. Let's do the shape. Let's do the shape. The trick is to go slowly. The trick is to go slowly. And if you have to stop to get air, you know, like you've got a big expanse here. Just take your time. So you go back over where you've been. And I'm going to turn my paper. And you may think I'm being a little bit anal, but I just want to not have a join, see? So I go back over. When I'm, when I'm going to come along this line now, what glasses have I got on? I'm going to put my Dame Edna's on. If I could find them. <laughs> oh, that's another thing. How many glasses do you think the woman's got? Where's that drawer for? I have got more glasses than you need. Look. <laughs> One, two, three, four, yeah. Uh, oh no, hang on, six. <laughs> and that's only in this room. It's like Dave with his guitars, he's got one in every room as well because he can never find them. He's like a wandering minstrel. <laughs> I tell you what, it's people like us, we are the backbone of this economy. <laughs> But not for the right reasons. <laughs> oh, you got to laugh. <laughs> Come on in. Come on in. I know. You're wondering where you are. It's okay. I'm wondering where I am this morning too. Right, let's get this. Let's get this handle. Let's get a handle on the handle, people. Right. Oh, yeah, they're much better. These glasses are like, God, oh, they're magnifiers. Right, down we go again. Yeah, I just didn't want to join. I don't want to see the join. You know what I mean? I'll come around here now. Here we go. Right, I've got to concentrate. Concentrate, Barbara. Slowly does it. Round you go. Now, if I could keep going until I get to a place where there's a, a join, that would be better. Ah, oh, Barbara. Come on, you could, could you not? That'll do. And then we'll do the inside bit. Okay, <clears throat> outside, there we are, and it comes round there like that, and it comes in there like that, nice, okay, that one too hard, it's the, it's the outer edge that gives us that, yeah, it's cool, in fact, while I've got this one in my hand, I'm going to do all the outer edge, round we go again, turn the artwork, what's that plastic thing? Right, groovy guard. Anything will do. Piece of copy paper. Anything to... Right, let me come in on that camera so that I can... 
See, I could actually turn it round so that you, there you go, because it really doesn't matter whether I go upside down or, that's it, lines are lines. Try and breathe when you do it. Right, there you go. There's something nice, I think, about also, about a hand-drawn line, you know? Sometimes when it's computer-generated, it's so perfect. That's all right when you, you know, for stamps, I suppose. Come back along that one. Looking good, eh? Right. Yeah, that's it. Now I'm just going to come along here. Slowly does it. Mm? It's the outside. The inside's not as critical, I don't think. Critical. Now there's a word we need. This is not critical, okay? <laughs> let me take that back. Let me retract the word critical. You know, let's, let's get get some perspective. Let's right size this, shall we? This is not crucial or critical. This is a doodle. It's a piece of coffee paper, a pen. We're hanging out, a bunch of friends, and we're just trying to stay safe, happy, and creative. And I apologize for using words like critical and crucial because they do not have a place in the Shack Shack. The only thing that's crucial is that you stay safe and breathe while you're doing this. <laughs> there you go. Turn your artwork round. This is so, so therapeutic. It's, well, it's tracing, isn't it? It's all it is. It's just, we're just going round and we're tracing out our our shapes and our cups and we want to get as nice a line as we can for the outside. All right, numero dos, one, two, and let's do three, let's do three. I love these cups. Let's go around here. Okay, here we go again. Everybody happy? Sound all right? There we go. There we go. I've got my delivery, you know, like uh, online shopping. I'm not very good at it though, I've got to admit. <laughs> when it arrived yesterday because I'm shopping for mum and dad as well at the same time and then I have to divvy it up and um, yeah it's easier that way and uh, bang went the diet that's all I can say <laughs> I mean, yeah okay I know you can freeze cheesecake but do you need four of them Barbara I don't think so <laughs> Blimey. And the other thing, what I don't like about online shopping, I mean, it's really useful and it's really safe and I'm really grateful and I really appreciate the, 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 the good people that deliver, you know, always. And I tip them handsomely because I really feel that they, they're doing a fantastic job. Um, but <laughs> I'm rubbish at sizes, right? You know, when you buy stuff and you think, well, it didn't look like that in the picture. <laughs> Right, so, what's that stuff called? Vanish. You know what you put in the wash if you've got stains? So normally, when I go to the supermarket, I get one that's like that size. You do, don't you? It's about that big. Okay, and it goes in the cupboard. If it's in the cupboard, that's the whole purpose of it. You get a pink one, you get a white one, you know, and you feel like you're a housewife. <laughs> okay. So, so mum, it's mum's fault. So she says to me, I need some vanish. She's she, she German, that's why she speaks. 
Uh, Barbara, could you get me some vanish, please? I need it for the laundry. No problem, mum. Pink one or white one? Both. No problem, mum. And I thought, wow, well, while I'm getting some for her, I'll get some for myself. <laughs> These bloody things have arrived. <laughs> we got... The poor bloke who was getting the, the Ocado van delivery yesterday. <laughs> his arms, his knuckles were scraped along the ground. And it was, most of it was this vanish. These great big... They don't fit in the cupboard. My mum's not going to be impressed. <laughs> she, won't, she won't use that in her lifetime. I won't use it in my lifetime. <laughs> so... So the trouble is, it's the pictures and the scale, isn't it? They should put a little ruler next to the blooming images so you can see 18 inches versus 6 inches. Because on a screen, especially when you're buying on the phone, this is very deceiving. I had the same problem with glazes. <laughs> For the pottery. I know it says weights. What does it mean? If it says 5 kilos, you think, cool, 10 pounds, that's a lot. Yeah, no, it's not. You can't dip diddly. You can't dip diddly in five kilos. You can't, right? 25 kilos, you think, really? Why would I use 20? That's 50 pounds. Why would I need 50 pounds of glass? Well, yeah, you do. Now, the challenge is finding the bucket to be the... <laughs> Yeah, so this online shopping, it has its setbacks, all right? And a lot of it starts with the pictures. Am I alone? Am I alone? The stuff comes out. Then milk, that's another one. Now why, I've got these piddly little milk things. I need the big ones, because I drink a lot of tea. <laughs> but these are not problems. These are challenges, that's all. I've just got to pay more attention. Hmm. That's what it is. It's not paying attention. It's not taking my time. It's rushing, isn't it? Hmm. I should be more careful. And I should look at what I've got before I go online and shop. I know, I know all the theory. <laughs> I know all the theory. Anyway, I've got plenty of vanish and so has Mutter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, loaves, that's not bread loaves. Oh, why do Warburton make these piddly little things? You can't... Oh, well, never mind. So there's me thinking I've got enough. <laughs> Same as Anchor Butter. Who knew that they do unsalted? I didn't know they do... When did Anchor start doing unsalted butter? Well, here's the news. Now, I've got two pounds. Well, salt's bad for you. <laughs> Anchor. They never did salt unsalted. Lurpak was the unsalted brand. God, oh dear, oh dear. Isn't it? Yeah, so what I've got to do, and lesson, note to self, Gray, note to self, stop rushing. And breathe. But also, I guess it's because I'm running around from one thing to another and I assume, never assume anything. I assume that when I look at a pack of anchor butter, silly me, I assume that it's the same anchor butter that I've been buying for the last 50 years. Oh, no, not so. Well, didn't you see the big green unsalted strip along the bottom? No, I didn't, because I was looking at the anchor. <laughs> <laughs> and it's very difficult to draw and doodle when you're laughing. Oh, come on, Barbara. There you go. But these are not problems. These are just um, observations. There you go. That's the word I'm looking for. I made an observation. It's a steep learning curve with online shopping. And I'm sure I'm not alone. 
There you go. Nice. Look. Oh, handle. Still got a handle to do. And then once I've done the shape, I can relax because the inside's easy compared to the outside. The outside's a bit that. If I'm coming around like that, I need to change the angle. Right, here we go. Go. And breathe. There's nothing like it for focusing the mind, is there? Slowly coming round. Um... Our uh, online tutorials, you know, we were talking about not having a, a kind of a price driven sale in in um, in January. We decided to do those bloggy tutorials and um, that's going down well. You're enjoying that. I, I always I'm always happy when I. When I see that what an idea is being well received, you know, I think it, I thought it would be a good idea and it is. People are really enjoying that. It's entertainment, isn't it? It's it's interesting. If you've got the gear, it gives you something to do. And it may even in it may even motivate you to try it. Which is cool as well. I think I'm gonna put this little tag in. And then we can decide what we're going to write on it later. That'll do. Then we're coming around the back. That looks a bit wo wonky. Let's come in there. That looks better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You still enjoying the Shack Shack? Sometimes I think we must be getting bored with it, but... I like what we're doing. I, I love this sort of design. I do. And over the weekend, I'll start thinking about a longer plan for us. If you're up for it. Why not? Hmm? Like I say, it's not obligatory. So there, I'm here if you need us. That's the point, isn't it? I think that's the key. I think that's important, that the Shack Shack is here if you need it. You, you, you're not obliged to be here. I am. That's the only, that's the only proviso. Someone's got to turn up and put the key in the ignition and fire up the old cameras. <clears throat> Can you hear me all right, Stuart? Is the sound still good? Excellent. I hope so. Right, so that's the outside and now we're going on the inside. So let's go to 005. I've seen some beautiful, some beautiful doodled stee, uh, stee cups. <laughs> what tea cup stacks? Stee cup tacks. Tea cup stacks. I've seen some beautiful tea cup stacks on Facebook. So now I'm going with me, I'm going to go to my 005 pen. There we are. Okay. And now I'm going to start the doodle. I changed the flowers on mine. Look, did you notice when I when I penned when I penciled it in, I changed the flowers. Look. I changed them a little bit. Yeah. Cuz I had an opportunity to. These would be beautiful cups if they were real. So I'm going to start with this one now and I'm going to bring in, I'm going to draw it the same as I, I penned it really, penciled it. Right, round we go. We'll do this line first. I think the trick is to not, is to slow down. You just slow down. And as you slow down, what happens is, here we go, just lean into it. Let's have a look. And as you slow down, you'll feel your breathing slows down. 
your shoulders relax. There you are. And you just, just get into it really. Right, now I'm going to divide the cup up. Go through here into patterns. It's a good job that I um, got the pencil lines in as well, because this would be quite the challenge if you were trying to compose this at the, at the same time, wouldn't it? I'm, um, this is your chance as well to change things. If you, if you are not sure about what you did earlier, like I want a double line coming through here. So I'm introducing it now. Give a bit more space between the different doodle patterns. Yeah, that's going to look good. Just put these in and then we'll do the flowers above. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, it's nice this is. I See, for me though, what's important is that I like the shape of the cup before I start. Because the shape's never going to change. Don't matter how good my patterns are. Right. Ooh, ooh. Oh. And also, the other thing is that these are quite funky cups, aren't they? They don't have to be perfect. None of it has to be perfect. But by focusing on these lines, by focusing on the lines like this, what it does is it totally, it's the word focus, it totally... Um, concentrates your mind on the tip of the pen. You're in the art. You know, we were talking about being in the art. Well, you're in the art when you do this. So what I'm going to do now is the flowers above, because these, these stalks, they come up from here, don't they? And I'm going to come up with a stalk. Let me just put the stalks in. Well, a stalk. I've got to look at what you're doing, Gray. That one's coming up there. That one's coming. Let's get the stalks going. Oh, now I've gone all quiet. That's just focus, isn't it? It's just focus. So I'm bringing the two. Yeah, there we are. The two pieces. Now, where's that one going? That looks as if it needs to go somewhere else. I'm going to bring it around like that. That'll do. It's all about concentration. See? Because as you concentrate, you lose yourself in it. So we're just going to pen the flowers and then it'll be lovely because what I'd love to do, if it's okay with you, I'd like to bring this back on Monday and it may be that the, um, hang on. I've just got to concentrate a bit. That's it. It may be on Monday, what I'd love to do is add a little bit of colour, don't you fancy? Because I know at the beginning what we always said was one week colouring postcards, next week doodles. One week colouring postcard, next week doodles. Colouring postcards, doodles. Lally, lally, la. Well, thing is with this, let me come in a bit tighter on the top one. Thing is with this, you see, there we are. Um, we can do our own colour as well, can't we? So over the weekend, we could finish penning our work and rub out the pencil lines, could do a bit of shading, 
definitely do a little bit of shading, but we could get some really lovely colour going as well. Have a look here. So this this one comes down like that. Right, here we go. Very fine lines. I'm not pressing hard at all. Okay. You see this one, right? There you go. I'm really almost uh, almost not touching the paper. It's tiny, tiny fine lines. So that's a something else to focus on, isn't it? Yeah. It'll all be all right, you know. Just got to take it one day at a time. And use your days as positively as you can, I suppose, eh? That's it. That's it. Just don't get caught up in the goldfish bowl. Don't worry unduly about stuff that you can't. I know it's easier said than done. Don't worry about stuff you can't control. And we all do it. I know, to a greater or lesser extent. But um, that's what the doodling's all about, isn't it? It makes you just stop freaking out about stuff you can't do anything about. Hmm? Think about how good your artwork is now since we started the Shack Shack. And that's because You've invested time and thought and energy into it. Now imagine a year from now, if you keep going, <clears throat> how good, how much better your artwork will be. You know, one of the things, what have I done here? Oh yeah. What do I want to do with these flowers? One of the things that I really love to read is when people say the Shack Shack has in ignited my my mojo. I'd lost my mojo. I, I didn't know, you know, when I, when I, when I read that, that's, I think, oh yeah, mission accomplished then, you know, that, that really, that makes me happy because that means that lots of people then are using their time creatively you know, isn't that good? And the more you do, the better you get, and the better you get, the more you'll want to do. Here we are. There's nothing like it for calm in the mind. This and colouring and Yeah, there we go. Just little tiny. I'm nowhere near what I've penciled. <laughs> Still looks all right though. I think the pencil work's just giving me the the idea again, you know. That's it. Slowly does it. Isn't that lovely? I wonder, she said, whether I want to do that along the top there or whether I want to leave that just gold rim like that. Maybe that'll be too busy, hey? Yeah. Right, doodles next. Let's start with this one. See, once we've done one cup, the other two in the stack are just the same, aren't they? Well, unless you've got Zamatassen, you know, the collecting cups, which are all different. It's up to you. Totally up to you. Let's have a look. Slowly does it. I'm miles out from the pencil work on these swirls. That's it. So it's best if it come in that side and I can get right over the top and I can look at what I'm doing 
really carefully round and round oh yeah I think this is it isn't it you're getting grossed in something and it it's like a a real balm it, it just slows your worrying down it certainly works for me this is going to be a bigger one like that. Yeah, I love, I love, I love. Don't overdo it, Barbara, because you can put a bit of colour in the background. There, that one looks nice. Look, let me show you. See? When we take the pencil lines out, you'll see how sharp it is. So let's have a look here. Keep going. Call me neck. How's your neck? Stretch, stretch, stretch. The Doodle Shack Shack download. I think, Stuart, if I'm not mistaken, that's coming at 12 o'clock again. Well, due to popular demand, Hazel's kindly agreed to keep um, every Friday at 12 o'clock, we launch uh, a free gro groovy download for our, for our parchers in the community. So that's something for them. Parchment always takes a little longer, so we think that one a week is great. Whereas this we do three times a week. Hmm. You've got to remember to stretch your neck when you do this, haven't you? You know, just look up. Perfect. It's like a little bit of mental yoga, really, isn't it? Just chill. Hmm? Yeah. What's the time? Oh, we've got plenty of time still. So let's do another pattern. So I get three runs at it. I'm not sure about that one. It looks a bit more like brickwork then. I'm going to do this one as well. This is a nice one. Let's do this one here. So this one's swirly as well. When I'm in smirly mode. Here we go. Just come up. And I'll come from that one to the next one. And I'll come over to this one. Like that, that'll do. And then I'm going to pop some leaves in, like leaves, right, really lightly. Let's get a bit of copy paper. Let's check the leaf. So I know what I'm going to do before I do it, because my doodle's a bit dodgy. I've got a dodgy doodle. <laughs> that'll do. That's what the scrap's for. Right. Leaf. Go up, make a point, come back down. Go up, make a point, come back down. Go up, make a point, come back down. Up, make a point, come back down. There you go. Nice, and then we're going to make a couple of dots like that. That'll look good. See, every one of these little patterns could be the entire cup, couldn't it? When I was doing the, the patterns in the cup, I really liked it like from a design point of view, when it just had a couple of, a couple of um, patterns. That looks really nice, you know. Just like a couple of borders. The dots, I love the dots. Look, see, the dots. So if you look, they're offset, they're diagonal, aren't they? What a lovely old cup that is. Isn't that beautiful? So pretty, lovely colour as well. That that lovely, that lovely yellow, creamy yellow, isn't it nice? Like a sort of Victorian yellow. I could handle my living room in that colour. Mm -hmm. Right, dots. But I'm going to do rings rather than dots, so I can colour them in. So it's rings, one, two, three, and then I'm going to offset them. Right, here we go again. So I'm going to offset them. 
Again, it requires focus, doesn't it? Yeah. I'm a lot more relaxed now than I was two hours ago, I can tell you. Yeah, you see, it works. Now. Yeah, so Paul's on telly, he's on her chanted tomorrow at one o'clock and at three o'clock. So do tune in and support him. God, he works so hard, that fella. I mean, we all work hard. He works very hard, you know? Very, very, very hard. I love him dearly. But I think you know that, don't you? He's a good man. Here we go. So I'm going to do that one. Just one line at a time. One doodle at a time. There we go. Lovely. So we've got some super, super blogs planned. We're, well, it's like a moving feast, really. We're going as we, as we, I've got, I've done one. I'm in charge of the, the stampy, stencily doodly stuff. And then the other, the others like Linda and Josie and Glynis and Jane, and they're in charge. They're they're doing the the groovy parchment stuff on the clarity matters because, as I say, that takes a lot longer, doesn't it? So I'm trying to think my my next because we're not piling them in, just gently traveling gently through 2021. That's the game. Just take it easy. Let's just take it easy, and um. I know last night I was playing with a jelly plate, gel press, and I did a real nice, nice one. Um, I thought it was nice. And I, that's going to be on um, how to use a gel press, get a print on a gel press. I'm going to do that because that's always popular. And I'm going to use the big gel press and I'm going to show you how to pull prints on it in a step-by-step -step, and that's going to be, I've, I've planned it for Tuesday. I asked Paul, when do you want it, when do you want me to, because he's in charge of, him and Grace are in charge of sort of admin, admin side of it. And Stuart, he's, he's in charge of promoting it and letting you know when's what. So yeah, teamwork makes the dream work and all that. And I said to Paul, when do you want me to do this, I've done an elephant one, when do you want me to do this elephant one? And he said, I said, Sunday or Tuesday? He said, Tuesday. I said, OK, Tuesday it is. So look out for elephants on Tuesday. <laughs> Mind you, I'll see you before then. I'll see you before then on Monday in the Shack Shack. And what we'll do is, this is a nice pattern. I like this one. It's very nice to do. It's like parky floor, curly parky floor. Got a bit of a curve on it. Um, we'll get together in the Shack Shack again, shall we? On M Monday at 10 o'clock, as usual. And what would be brilliant, and I'll, I'll be ready as well, right? We'll do all our... We'll do all our... Um, come on, spit it out, Gray. What am I trying to say? All our inking. That's what we're going to do. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Let's do all our inking. Two, three, four. And then I might bring this one up a bit. That one inside. 
And then what we can do is, uh, on Monday, we'll rub out all the pencil work and then we'll do some colouring. You know, pick, let's do a colourful stack rather than all the same. Let's do, well, this is what I'm going to do. You do what you like. They're your cups, they're your... Yeah, they are. I can't tell you what to do, but I'm going to, I've got three cups and I'm going to go to three colours, right? So one colour for each cup and then I'm going to use the tricks that we've learned to do shading. So I like, really like uh, teal. I like teals, like, mm, you know, that turquoisey colour. I'm going to do one in turquoise. I'm going to do one in a, what colours go together really beautifully? I think... Um, personally, I like teal and I like a kind of a fuchsia colour, like a pink looks lovely with a teal. Orange, those three go beautifully together. Teal, orange and pink. You know, like um, a real Mexican sort of, or oh, you could do a really nice, a yellow, but then the yellow and the teal are a bit, mm, teal, orange, teal and orange are beautiful. You pick your favourite colours. You might like blues, you might like a lilac and a blue, and a moss green, moss green, and a moss green and a heather colour, beautiful as well. You pick the three, col the three colours that we're go you're going to use to sit together, and then we'll use our own doodles as a colouring uh, vehicle, all right? And in the meantime, don't forget, we've got these, these beautiful poppets to colour in, haven't we? So many of you have already got them. I encourage you to get this set of postcards that lovely Lisa put together for us. You've got Christmas, Whimsy and Flower. These are beautiful postcards. And they, you know, I've said it before, they come in two different sizes. So one is for training your colouring, practising your colouring, and one is for for doodling around. So we've already done, we've done a couple of, we did a Christmas ones, didn't we? I don't know. They won't be here. They're in, they're in, I've, oh, they are, well done, Barbara. There you go. There's one anyway. <laughs> I don't know where the others are. Oh, me and my filing. There you go. But that's the point, you see. So beautiful for colouring in. Right, so there are colouring in trainers. And then we've still got, and I'm not going to give up on these. We've got our lovely, feathered friends ones as well do you remember and we've done so many of them already like the the owls and the cockerels and the nut hatches cool we've pretty much done the green ones already these are really cool look so these are lovely for coloring in so there's a smashing price on those on the website as well so if you're going to hang out in the shack shack with me maybe treat yourself to these because every now and again I'll go, right, that's it, we're doing this. Usually it, it's just to get a, a nice balance of colour and doodling and, yeah. So that's what we're going to do. But on Monday, we are back in the Shack Shack. We're going to colour these beautiful, uh, these cups in. And, and you're going to pick three colours or whatever you want to do. You might want to do psychedelic cups. It's up to you. And also have a little think about what you want to say here. What do you want to say here? See if you can come up with a, a good little message, a little tag, a loving tag, and we'll see what we come up with. It's great to have you company. Stuart, thank you for your help. That brings us to the end of another hour. You've got all weekend to do your inking and enjoy your cups and catch up and um, stay safe. Uh, yeah, stay alive, stay safe, eh? And, uh, and I'll see you on Monday. It will all be fine. This too shall pass. Lots of love. Bye-bye now.